Like every mother, the Blessed Mother will do everything it takes in her power to save her children when they become wayward or fall into danger of losing their soul. Our Lady of Fatima said, pray very much because many souls go to hell because no one prays and does penance for them. To save souls from eternal punishment of hell and temporal punishment of war, persecutions and tribulations, the Blessed Mother warned that men must stop sinning. To prevent and avert these inevitables of going to hell, having bigger wars, more persecutions and tribulations, leading to greater persecution of the church, we need to follow the message of Fatima, consecrate Russia and the world to the heart of Mary and Jesus, our family, parish, diocese, country, and the whole church to the hearts of Jesus and Mary. On March 25, 1984, at St. Peter's Square, while recalling the fiat uttered by Mary at the Annunciation, St. John Paul II, in spiritual union with the bishops of the world, who had been convoked beforehand, entrusted all men and women and all peoples to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Mother of all men and women, and of all peoples, you who know all their sufferings and their hopes, you who have a mother's awareness of all the struggles between good and evil, between light and darkness, which afflict the modern world, accept the cry which we, moved by the Holy Spirit, address directly to your heart. Embrace with the love of the mother and handmaid of the Lord, this human word of ours, which we entrust and consecrate to you, for we are full of concern for the earthly and eternal destiny of individuals and peoples. Immaculate Heart, help us to conquer the menace of evil, which so easily takes root in the hearts of the people of today, and whose immeasurable effects already weigh down upon our modern world and seem to block the paths towards the future. Accept, O Mother of Christ, this cry laden with the sufferings of all individual human beings, laden with the sufferings of all societies. Help us with the power of the Holy Spirit to conquer all sin, individual sin, and the sin of the world. Sin in all its manifestation. Mother Mary always keeps her promise. She asks for consecration and reparation that any problem we have, individually or collectively, when course to Our Lady of Fatima, will be heard by God without fail. Today is Mother's Day. Let us beg the Father for the fullness of grace that we need from the Holy Spirit, begging through the Blessed Mother's help that these virtues and graces make us truly better Christians and Catholics worthy of becoming emissaries of peace, love, and unity among peoples and nations, ending all atrocities against life and threat against the sanctity of family life. Pray and do reparation in answer to our Blessed Mother's call for peace. She answers and make miracles happen. O Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, the whole world is sitting on a ticking bomb that can detonate any time because evil has corrupted the minds of some political leaders eager to destroy the world with just one nuclear bomb. You promise that with prayer and penance, with consecration and reparation to your Immaculate Heart and in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, you will grant peace in the world our nations, our diocese, our parish, and our families. Today, this 13th day of May, we again renew our total consecration of ourselves and our family and country to you, O Mother Mary. Totus tuus Maria ego sum, omnia mea tua sum. To the intercession of the chaste heart of Saint Joseph, we ask this in the name of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, 
our Lord. Amen.